been removed from his home and detained at one of the Croydon detention centres. So my question is, again, to the Home Secretary, can she commit to introducing a statutory instrument that would actually reverse and restore those rights that the Windrush generation were secured? <laughs> applause for this uh, performance in Parliament. For example, on next Tuesday, I'll be, uh, well, next Monday, for anyone that wants to come along to it, there will, there will be a Westminster Hall debate um, based on the petition that exceeded 100,000 signatures in relation to the Windrush issue. So that's going to be debated in Westminster Hall on um, Monday, but also it's going to be debated in the Chamber all day next Wednesday. Wednesday. Journalists were, were report, have been trying to report on this for months and um, you know Sunday um, the 15th of April uh, the government refused to meet with 12 heads of state from the Commonwealth countries, refused to and they must have recognised this was a huge error in their own judgment because by the Monday they changed their tune and said they were going to meet with him. But actually it shouldn't take any pressure from MPs, the media or anyone. It's just hugely disrespectful what they have done to the Windrush generation and that's why it cannot stop until, in my opinion, they restore their rights and their protections. That's why, forget the help man and all of that stuff, yes it's fine, but they can restore their rights and protections very easily. And that's what I'll be pushing for. And do you think that uh, you're going to achieve what you set out to do? Do you? Does it look like there's a light at the end of the tunnel? Well, I think we have to have hope, right? I, I mean, you know, we've got to go in with this thinking we can make a difference. And I, I think it is possible. Yes, I do. I think...